You know, there is just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed, and that certainly applies to this young man. Punches and bunches, as good a combination striking game as we've seen in the UFC in years, and you gotta think the accumulation of punches, which have worn down lesser opponents, could wear down his opponent here tonight. It's one thing to see the hand speed on film, it's another thing to see it in your face on fight night. We'll see how this matchup plays out tonight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. Lightning fast punches that come in absolutely swift combinations. All right, so here he is, a very accomplished striker, finally making the walk to the octagon tonight. Gotta think he'll be interested, of course, in keeping this fight standing in his wheelhouse. And he's got the takedown defense to keep this fight where he wants it, no doubt. He'll be looking to put on a striking clinic here tonight. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down, and once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, the Destroyer. And now he is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, the Cooler. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Here we go. Big oh, elbow there, man, last. that is rough. Oh, Huge shot with the hook. hook. Watch the shot here, Joe. It appears that cut is getting worse. How about that chin? Good kick. Now he goes for the single leg. Trying to spin to the back. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. And he lands a nice kick. Oh, solid jab. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. He's gonna try to take the back. Huge oh, left hand. hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Into full guard. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Ooh. Kick to the body. Oh. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble right now. Now goes 
in and secures the takedown. He's in half guard. Back to his feet again, amazing. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Nice shot. And another one lands to the head. He gets hit with an outside leg wow. kick. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Horn sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice shot lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible highlights in that round. He has no answer for the reflex. He's not defending the right way. He's open for it. Brittany Palmer is in the building. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. That last round was an all some energy as this fight moves forward. Well, he established the jab early and going right back to the well here. Jab. Nice combination. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Kick lands for him there. Nice uppercut. Enters in on the double leg. Well, he stayed committed to the body work. And the results are there, Joe. Look at the right side of his body. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely pick oh. up. This could be it. Oh, he's getting tagged. Oh, very nice. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Full guard here. Back up to his feet. Starting to do some really good. Wow. He's in big, big trouble here. Knee to the body. Trying to stay in this fight. Big body shot. Punch for the KO. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Here we see it from another angle. And here it is again. And he's out. 
So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of round number two. Going to win by knockout, a destroyer. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight, and he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, the backyard brawler, the internet sensation, Kimbo Slice, finding his way onto this UFC roster. It was a big win over Houston Alexander that set up this showcase spot for Kimbo here tonight. And when Kimbo's fighting, the masses are tuning in. Let's see what Slice can do with this opportunity here tonight. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl. And if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. He makes the walk tonight, no denying what he'll be trying to do to unleash some of the more devastating kicks we have seen in the UFC in years. Just brutally powerful, and oftentimes he'll do major damage just by landing one or two kicks to that lead leg or to the body, thereby changing the complexion of the fight. You talk about guys like Tiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr. Enter this young man, scary, scary power on his kicking game. This guy has some of the best throws we have ever seen inside the octagon. The speed of his execution and the technique that he uses in the delivery are truly world class. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo! This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He's down to five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Chico. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? Well, good to be back in Rio as we get underway here at the Junes Arena, right in the heart of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Oh, nice punch there by Kimbo Slice. Lands a big right hand early. Oh! Oh, he's going for it here. Nice defense there, huge block. Slice gets caught with that punch. Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid for it there. His head was wide open, and his opponent is able to land the uppercut there. He's going to have to figure some things out here, Joe. Manage his wrist better. I know he's confident in his chin, but right now he's becoming a sitting duck. And he connects with the punch. He's doing a really good job of timing his shots and landing a good series of strikes here. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Closing the distance here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice. Oh, he's got it 
going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Slice. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Landed that one. Excellent job of timing these combinations. He connected with another uppercut. He's landed a few big ones so far here. Oh! This could be it right here. Big shots! Vicious combo there! That's a big hook. That one hurt. Oh! What a wild exchange! Whoa! Man! He is clearly in big, big trouble here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, big left. And the kick lands. Very good exchanges here. How about that shin? Oh, there, there's a nice leg kick. Good sequence of kicks there by Slice. Using his jab effectively here, Joe. Nice punch. Man, another leg kick. Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Oh! He's out! And it's that's over. gonna do it! Beautiful shot to end the fight here. Outstanding knockout. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see it again. Boom! And then he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kimba! Well, and how about the win there for Kimbo Slice, who does it again against all odds. He defies them and gets his hand raised in the octagon once more. Going to be very interesting to see how they match make Kimbo Slice after a monumental victory here tonight. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here is this defensively gifted fighter and certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man. And even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This guy has devastating takedowns. The ability to get his opponent to the mat time and time again has proven to be one of the most effective tools in his arsenal. All right, so as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. This guy has tremendous ground technique and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite.
Hard tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with the same height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Jumbo! And now he brings his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, the night Man. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Here you go, first round. You ready? You ready? Let's well, go, this is on. a venue that has hosted so many big UFC fights over the last several years, and we are underway at Juness Arena right here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It appears a cut has opened up on his cheek. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, he caught with a big cut! He got hurt very, very badly. Oh, beautiful hook! He didn't miss with that uppercut! Big punches! Finds a home for that left hook. He's hurt. He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. Oh, and he eats a shot. Hit him hard Landed with that hook. Huge hook there, Joe. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Check it out again. Boom! And he's out. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by Jumbo. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. Seen a lot of young MCs, even die for peace. Posting pictures while I'm posted in Belize. Spent those only rainy nights, 
All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in? as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The champion is in focus, he is in his prime, he's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age some differences in height and reach. And now, one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the challenger, Iron. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ricky Ball. for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. Here we go. And he connects there. He blocks the shot. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Just missed with the left there. Good one, too. Beautiful hook. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You got to get that head off the center line. Oh! The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble. He's trying to hang on to keep his ties down from here. Big shots. Oh! oh. Man, oh. Some shots. It's home. Vicious combinations. Oh, straight right. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Connects with the punch there. How about that shin? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And he gets reversed. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's looking for the inverted triangle. Traps the arm, throws his leg over the top. He's out of the choke. With 90 seconds to go in round one. Seconds now to go in the round. Good defense there. Tagged him. Oh! 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 And just like that, the fight is over. Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ended. Wow, Joe Rogan, you know, we see fighters all the time go for a takedown late in the round, but you don't see that every day. The flush knockout just before the final horn, the referee wisely jumping in to stop the fight. Gorgeous technique and a great job to catch the other guy when maybe he was thinking about the end of the round. Now he doesn't see it. Instead, he's staring up at the bright lights. Let's see it again. Great angle here. Boom, right on the button. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division. And it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class.